What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Haywood here from Bacon Ice Cream Productions and Team ITFC, welcoming you to yet another episode of Good Times with Retro Rich and Fun for Five. That's right. It's Wednesday. We've done a we've done I should say a Sega Master System arcade port on Monday for Master System Monday, which means only one thing. It's time for the Legends Ultimate arcade cabinet to come alive and for us to do a fun for five that is arcade based what's the game well the game is golden axe of course for the arcade via the legends ultimate cabinet so how are we going to do this well of course how we do most of these things since we there is no direct capture method that i know of so far for the legends ultimate cabinet itself what we are going to do is pop to pre-recorded footage of the game in question, which is Golden Axe. And we're going to comment over that for the five-minute period of time. See if we find the fun in the arcade game in that five minutes. Five minutes. And then give a little chat a little bit afterwards and see, you know, do a little compare and contrast and all that kind of fun stuff. So, without any further ado, we're going to... The arcade. Let's do this. All right, here. Winners don't use drugs. Of course, the classic, classic thing. Uh, we're going to throw some quarters in the machine, of course. Of course, this is how we, that's how we roll. All right. I think there's I think it's cool that there's like a little bit of a story, you know, right before all this uh this action gets going on the uh the arcade version here. Just tossing fools right away. So definitely right away, um and again, it could be because of that controller. I mean it really could be because of the controller that I feel that the arcade version is a little more precise in the way that you can move the character. Um, all the action buttons, you know, your, your, uh, you know, your, your fight, you know, your, your punch, your kick, your, you know, your throws, all that stuff. That feels pretty natural. The two versions definitely feel uh, comparable. Um, but I do definitely think that, um, you know, un unless I'm mis mistaken, it's it's possible that the Second Master System version has a little more jagged uh, edge in its movements. But anyway, looking back here at the uh, arcade game version, of course, your you know all your sprite work is uh, is pretty awesome. You know everything looks really cool. Um, you know it definitely looks a little uh, more refined. Of course, you know you're going from eight to eight bits to sixteen bit. Um, you know, a lot more uh, cool stuff happening. There's the persistence when the, the people are uh, have been defeated. They just kind of sit there, grayed out. Um, you know, you've got all sorts of cool stuff. Uh, lots of motions inside of the uh, the sprite characters too. You know, you've got the big guys that were laughing. You know, here I am just like laying waste to just like just picking up fools and just like tossing them all over the place. And then of course, you know, you've got your magic effects. Now, I will say that in the Master System version and in the arcade version, like, the effects are pretty close, uh, which is awesome. It's really cool to see uh, the fact that that is, uh, that that is actually happening. Um, so we got through that stage. You know, we got into the bonus stage here, um, taking a look at that. You know, uh, it's just really weird that, you know, it's just like, oh, hey, you can get magic, but you have to, like, beat up these like you know impish characters that are just carrying the thing um of potions you know and it's like they're there why don't they just hand them to you you know but no you gotta like kick them <laughs> which is which is so weird um but anyway the other thing i wanted to say is you know how rockin is the soundtrack of this game it's, it's really cool. I, I definitely am a fan, of course, of VGM. Talk about it a little bit on the channel. We'll talk about it some more on the channel moving forward. But, um, but yeah, the soundtrack is just, like, really, really cool. That first stage track is, like, super, super jamming. It really gets you into the, mo you know, the, the uh, whole mood of playing the game. Um, it's really, really neat. Um, and, 
you know, it's a, uh, it's really cool. Um, you know, here, here we are in that, in that like third, uh, third part of the stage. Um, you know, second, second main part of the stage. I think they, they count the, the, uh, bonus stage as actually a stage. And, uh, now you see a different rideable, uh, monster. We didn't talk about it in the first stage, but, you know, you can, like, kick everybody off and then start riding. Um, the cool thing about these, this, the arcade game, as we're watching the, uh, the dragon with the fire, which is pretty crazy. It's, like, kind of overpowered, but the AI in the, um arcade version it's a little smarter they'll bum rush you like they'll, you know like they'll try to to make it a little bit harder for you to just keep pounding it um but i think it, it's really cool in the arcade version that you see the stage kind of rocking well you don't realize um you don't realize it except for the you know in the story but the, the whole stage is on this you know i think the, i think this stage is like you're on a turtle um and it's just like you know kind of like taking you around and it's cool that the whole stage rocks like a little boat um you know while you're while you're playing, um, which is really neat. It's really kind of cool. Um, so anyway, <clears throat> so we're continuing to play, um, you know, you get into that second, um, that second boss stage. And I think, I think, I don't know, maybe we'll get to the second, the second boss, um, uh, before time, time's up here for the, the five minutes here. Um, but you know, the game is, is pretty much, you know, like this, it's the, this is the this is the game, right? You know, you're you're just like hacking and slashing through the levels, um, you know, trying to get to the Death Adder, you know, with the grand epic battle with him at the end, and you know, like it's you know, it, it's your it's your normal um, quarter munch um, kind of cool th you know cool thing. Um, you know, it's definitely cool. I, I like it. You know, it's a it's a it's a neat game. You know, you're just like tossing skeletons and you know getting burnt. I, I keep trying to go after the um, the dragon um, here, but I think I should just leave well enough alone. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I should just leave well enough alone and just like you know just let it be. But um, but here we are at that last uh, bonus stage there, um, where the you know the last stage we're gonna do uh, before the five minutes. Just you know getting some more. You can actually get some health too. You can kick those and get some health, like it right there. Um, so you can do your magic or your health, um, green or blue. Um, but anyway, as this is telling us the the story of yes, the village was uh, on the back of a turtle. Um, you know, as we go to the to that next stage, uh, we're just gonna. This is where we're gonna cut it here. Uh, so let me just hit uh, hit this button here and go back to the wrap up. All right, cool. So, that was five minutes of Golden Axe on the Arcade. And did we find the fun? Yeah, you betcha. There was the fun right there. It is totally found. This game is awesome. The arcade version, you know, doing a little compare contrast between the arcade and the Master System version. And, and of course, in this particular setting, you kind of got to give it up to the arcade version on here. It's so much more refined. The... Um, the soundtrack is really cool. You got that FM sound going on. You've got the more refined sprites. You've got the more refined <clears throat> controls. You've got the you know different options. So in the arcade game, you can select between three different characters. So your main character will have three different like parts. You know, or uh, not parts, but um, attack patterns. So there's like the barbarian main character, the, the you know the swordsman. There is a um a female character that also has a sword, but uh, it's more like a pike kind of thing. And then there's a, a dwarf character that has a, an axe, uh, kind of like Gimli. <clears throat> um, and each one of them is assigned the magic that you can use. So the um, the sword uh, male character does the earth, um, the female character does fire, and the dwarf guy does lightning. Um, whereas, whereas in the Sega Master System version, you choose just uh, Tariq, the, uh, the, the guy who is... Um, the the main character, the sword, the sword uh, fighter, and you get to choose whether or not you want to use the said magics, the the uh, the earth, the fire, or the lightning. So there is a little bit of differences there, probably because there just there wasn't enough memory on the chip to put the um, what I heard was instead of sprites on the Sega Master System version, uh, a user on the right here in the chat, right on the SM version, 
um, on the Sega Master System Fun for Five. So thanks, hat tip, um, to uh, to the to this uh, this commenter. But um, you know, they said that there was actually um, a uh, they were using background um, tiles to create the characters rather than use sprites. So like you know, ingenuity hat tip. Uh, to the folks that did the master system port for this game, because that's actually really cool, and you know made this made the uh, in air quotes sprite ish characters look so much more um, you know like bold and and cool based you know solely on the this this little like you know background trick you know carve out for the character that you know kind of elevate it over what you could find in the um, in, in even the NES or you know, any other 8-bit system. So it was really cool. That's really cool stuff to find out um, about the second Master System version. But on the arcade side, I mean, it, it has all the checks, right? It has it has the graphics. It has the sounds. It has the, um, in, in my opinion, again, barring controller issues, the better controls. <clears throat> and, of course, the, there's some more options. Where on Golden Axe in the arcade is a three-button game. Um, Golden Axe on the SMS, of course, is a two-button game that has, like, different you know, like hold this and then hit the button, hold this and then hit the button. Um, those, those attack differences on the arcade version are, are just mapped a little bit differently to be between each button. Um, but that's pretty much that on Golden Axe. Now, <clears throat> yeah, of course, the next thing that we'd be talking about, like, well, should we do a long play on, on Golden Axe or, you know, should we do a long play on the SMS version? Like, what, what should we do? Well, I can tell you guys that down below, on any of the arcade ones that we do, um, I live stream them on my personal channel, which is Retro Witch Hayward on YouTube. You can go on down below and hit the link, and on games that I have completed, now I, I'll say it, you know, during a Fun for Five arcade, I'll say, hey, I didn't complete this one because, you know, it was... Maybe it's too difficult, or I just didn't have the time, or the game is so so long that it would just you know like be bonkers to try to do. But most of these arcade games you can kind of finish in a sitting. Um, it was more about trying to get the quarters out of you than it was being really long and a long experience. Um, mostly on these uh, beat 'em up or hack 'em slash, you know, you can usually finish one of these about a half hour. So, getting to Golden Axe, we finished it here at Baked Ice Cream Productions. We finished that game on the same play through that you saw this footage for. So what does that mean? That means if you go to the personal channel, you want to check out the entire playthrough from start to finish, you can. You can check out the entire live session, which would include you know all the chat for people coming in and saying hi. Or you can also, right on the main channel, there is the now Retro Riches Random Arcade Full Playthroughs playlist, which is just simply the pure gameplay uh, none of the live stuff. It was cut and edited uh, with a bumper on either end by myself, and it's right there for your viewing pleasure. So Golden Axe is there, Alter Beast is there, and then as we move on, anything else. If we do Time Soldiers or if we do um, Outrun or anything like that, those those games will be on the long play or full playthrough as well. So. With all that being said, I think it's time to introduce the friends. There they are. Check them out. Give them some likes. Give them some subs. Give them all the cool things that we like to share here at Bacon Ice Cream Productions. We share the love. And these guys are awesome. You know, check them out. And it's pretty cool. We also, of course, OEB Pete, who's up there, and, and Re Retro Kill Dust Nine. We talk about the Evercade a lot, of course. Go to OEB Pete's channel for the Evercast which is good stuff. We talk about Evercade. We want some more Evercade action. Boom. Right there is the friends from across the pond. My guys over there, Roger, James, Martin, everybody else, Retro Ed, everybody. So go over there and check them out. Games are up. Sorry. He's up there. The, there's a couple people up there. Ink Northerner. You know, just like throwing out names now. But it, they're a part of the broader community of Evercade over in the UK. They do awesome stuff. They do the Evercade fans group on Facebook, of course, the Evercade live session. That's It's Much More. That's James. He hosts that show on his channel every month at the end of the month, usually on a Thursday, but he also usually has cool guests and cool topics to talk about. So if you're looking for that Evercade fix, there it is. 
they they're pretty awesome. You should go there. Give them likes, give them subs, give them all that kind of stuff. Which brings us to us here at Bacon Ice Cream Productions. We thank you so much for watching and hanging out and talking some arcade games with us on this fun for five. And until next time, we will catch you next time for some good times. But only first, if you could hit that red subscribe button for us on the way out. We did a pickup video just a little bit ago. In fact, yesterday. And in that pickup video, we said that we had a challenge for you. The challenge was, can you get us to 400 subs by the end of the week? Because if you do, there is some things that we like to call double alerts, but instead the graphic actually just says repeat alert, I think. Either way, there are games that I have that I have again, which means they're just extras. Carts, usually carts only, maybe they're carts in a box, maybe cart, maybe full complete doubles, very rare. Um, but what happens with those games? Well, if we get to 400 subs, we have a history of every time we hit the century mark, just trying to celebrate that with the community, with the guys and, and, and girls and everybody and all the people that watch our show. We try to give back uh, to you guys as a thank you. We will likely do a giveaway, which will include some of those games that were in those pickups. So, again, if you could hit that button on the way out, get us to 400 by the end of the week. You can make it happen. So, get on that. We will catch you next time for some good times. I'm Rich, and we will see you guys later. Take it easy, guys, and good luck out there. RTSC.BaconIceCream.com